All right, in this video we're going to be looking at bit masking with respect to reading a particular pin or bit from an input port or register. So in this case we're looking at pin A as an example. So we want to read whether a particular pin or pin A is currently high. What we do to do that is we do what's called bit masking, which is we create a mask. All right, so this is just like the original register, but we put a 1 in the location of where we want to check whether that bit is, bit is high. All right, so basically what we're saying is with this mask, I'll also fill in the zeros, is I don't care what 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 is, I'm only interested in what pin 5 is doing, or bit 5. All right, so if this is my mask, what we do is we use the bitwise AND, which is the single ampersand. So let's see how it works. Let's say this is pin A, so this is the register in our microcontroller, and let's say this is currently the contents of that register. All right, so pin 7 and pin 1 are currently high. If we take our ampersand with our mask, okay, so our mask, remember, was 0, we'll get the result 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And that's because we're effectively applying a logic AND to each one of the bits. Okay, as you see here which is why it's called bitwise. So we're taking the logic AND of the two bits, so both pin zeros, both pin ones, both pin threes, and so twos, threes, and so forth. All right? You should all remember your uh, truth table for the AND gate. All right? That's how we get this. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 1. So in this, there is no one in pin A in line with the same bit within our mask. So we get false. Alright, let's do that again, but let's do it with a different pin A register. So it's still pin A, but different contents within it. So 1010, We'll apply our mask to that. Zero, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. And the result will be as we want. All right, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. So we don't care what that one's doing, what that one's doing, or what that one's doing. We do care about this one. So we apply the AND and we get the 1 here. Okay, so we get the true result. Great, so that's how it works. How do we implement it? Well, when we implement it, there's a few ways to do it in code, but basically we're normally doing something like if pseudocode pin a.5 equals equals 1. Okay, so that's pseudocode, that's what we're sort of interested in. All right, we're saying, is that bit high? What we can do, so using Atmel Studio, is we can say if pin A, that's the register, logical and, sorry, bitwise and, one shifted to the left, P A five times, then P 
PA5 is high. All right, that will evaluate true for us. And how that works is this little guy here, he's defined in the header file, and that guy says how many positions along PA5 is within pin A. All right, so that automatically, this bit here, is our mask. That's pin A, obviously, and that's our AND. All right, the result, as we saw up here, was 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. We're not interested whether it's just in that particular bit location in the result. All we're interested in within that if statement is, is the result byte high? Which means basically, is it true? And is it true is if it's any number that's greater than 0. All right, so true if byte greater than zero. So one, two, three, all the way up to two, five, five. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you put that byte. No, sorry, where you put that one. This will evaluate true if that resulting byte. Okay, so all of that uh, is greater than zero. Okay, remember if. You use two ampersands, Ooh. true for any input. And this is a bug. Alright, so we don't use that when we're using bit masking. Okay. Not for bit masking. Okay, and that's it. Alright. Take the register that you want to check against, create a mask. Now whether you create that in binary, in the hexadecimal, or you do it my way, by using a define built into the header file, which I think is a much better way. Bitwise and them together, check to see if that value is true, which is any integer value greater than zero, then it will uh, evaluate within the if statement.